Unit 9, at home and away. A, a holiday in Yatrang. 1, listen, then practice with a partner, pages 92 and 93. Ma is talking to Liz about her recent vacation in Yatrang. Hi, Liz. Welcome back. Hello, Ba. How are you? Fine. How was your vacation in Yatrang? It was wonderful. I had a lot of fun. What do you think of Yatrang? Oh, it's beautiful. The people were very friendly. The food was delicious, but most things weren't cheap. They were quite expensive. What did you visit? My parents took me to see the Cham Temple and Tree Win Aquarium. Did you buy any souvenirs in Yatrang? Yes, I did. I bought a lot of different gifts for my friends in America. Were you tired after the trip? No, I wasn't. I had a great time. Liz and her parents went to Tree Wing Aquarium in Yatrang. They saw sharks, dolphins, and turtles. They saw many different types of fish. Liz thought the colorful little fish were the most beautiful. There was a sh souvenir shop near the exit of the aquarium. Mr. Robinson bought Liz a cap. It had a picture of a dolphin on it. Liz wore the cap all day. Mrs. Robinson bought a poster. She put it on the wall at home. After their visit to the aquarium, the Robinsons went to the food stall for lunch. Mr. and Mrs. Robinson ate fish and crab. Liz looked at the fish. She remembered the beautiful fish in the aquarium. She ate noodles instead. The Robinsons had a great holiday in Na Trang. Unfortunately, the holiday soon ended, and it was time to return home. They took a bus back to Hanoi. Liz was excited as the bus drove through the countryside. She saw rice paddies for the first time. Everything looked calm and peaceful. At four o'clock, the bus stopped at a small roadside restaurant for ten minutes. Mr. Robinson was asleep, so Mrs. Robinson brought some peanuts and an ice cream for Liz. The bus arrived in Hanoi at about 7 p.m. June 12th. Today, I talked with Liz Robinson about her vacation in Yatrang. Liz is a good friend of mine. She is American. Liz and her parents arrived in Hanoi this year from the USA. Mr. Robinson works at a school in Hanoi. He's an English teacher. The family rented an apartment next door to mine. Last week, the Robinsons moved to a new apartment. It's on the other side of Hanoi. I miss Liz, but she is coming to visit me next week. It won't be difficult to keep in touch. Liz is about my age. We like playing and talking together. I taught her some Vietnamese. Sometimes we talk in English, and sometimes we talk in Vietnamese. My English is improving a lot. Liz helps me with my stamp collection. She always gives me stamps from the letters she received. Her aunt in New York also s sends me some stamps. Next week, she'll bring me some more stamps and we'll have dinner together. 6. Play with words, page 96. I walk to school every day. I am walking there today. I walk to school every day. I walked there yesterday. I go to the park every day. I'm going there today. I go to the park every day. I went there yesterday. I play soccer every day. I am playing soccer today. I play soccer every day. I played soccer yesterday. Unit 9. At Home and Away. A. A Holiday in Yatrang. 1. 
Listen, then practice with a partner. Liz is talking to Ba about her recent vacation in Nha Trang. Hi Liz, welcome back. Hello Ba, how are you? Fine, thanks. How was your vacation in Nha Trang? It was wonderful. I had a lot of fun. What did you think of Nha Trang? Oh, it was beautiful. The people were very friendly. The food was delicious, but most things weren't cheap. They were quite expensive. What places did you visit? My parents took me to see Cham Temples and Tri Nguyen Aquarium. Did you buy any souvenirs in Nha Trang? Yes, I did. I bought a lot of different gifts for my friends in America. Were you tired after the trip? No, I wasn't. I had a great time. 2. Listen and read. Then, answer the questions. Liz and her parents went to the Tree Win Aquarium in Yachang. They saw sharks, dolphins, and turtles. They saw many different types of fish. Liz thought the colorful little fish were the most beautiful. There was a souvenir shop near the exit of the aquarium. Mr. Robinson bought Liz a cap. It had a picture of a dolphin on it. Liz wore the cap all day. Mrs. Robinson bought a poster. She put it on the wall at home. After their visit to the aquarium, the Robinsons went to a food stall for lunch. Mr. and Mrs. Robinson ate fish and crab. Liz looked at the fish. She remembered the beautiful fish in the aquarium. She ate noodles instead. 3. Listen. Write the letter of the sentences you hear. The Robinsons had a great holiday in Nha Trang. Unfortunately, the holiday soon ended and it was time to return home. They took a bus back to Hanoi. Liz was excited as the bus drove through the countryside. She saw rice paddies for the first time. Everything looked calm and peaceful. At four o'clock, the bus stopped at a small roadside restaurant for ten minutes. Mr. Robinson was asleep, so Mrs. Robinson bought some peanuts and an ice cream for Liz. The bus arrived in Hanoi at about 7 p.m. 4. Read Ba's Diary July 12th Today I talked with Liz Robinson about her vacation in Yantrang. Liz is a good friend of mine. She is American. Liz and her parents arrived in Hanoi this year from the USA. Mr. Robinson works at a school in Hanoi. He's an English teacher. The family rented an apartment next door to mine. Last week the Robinsons moved to a new apartment. It's on the other side of Hanoi. I miss Liz, but she is coming to visit me next week. It won't be difficult to keep in touch. Liz is about my age. We like playing and talking together. I taught her some Vietnamese. Sometimes we talk in English and sometimes in Vietnamese. My English is improving a lot. Liz helps me with my stamp collection. She always gives me the stamps from the letters she received. Her aunt in New York also gets me some stamps. Next week she'll bring me some more stamps and we'll have dinner together. Five, play with words. I walk to school every day. I am walking there today. I walk to school every day. I walked there yesterday. I go to the park every day. I am going there today. I go to the park every day. I went there yesterday. I play soccer every day. I am playing soccer today. I play soccer every day. I played soccer yesterday. B. Neighbors 1. Listen. 
Then practice with a partner. Your hair looks different, Toi. It's shorter. Do you like it? I love it. Did your uncle do it? No, my uncle didn't cut it. My aunt did. She's a hairdresser. And what a nice dress! Where did you buy it? I didn't buy it. My neighbor, Mrs. Mai, bought the material and made the dress for me. What a clever woman! It's her job. She's a dressmaker. What a nice neighbor! Three, read, then answer. Hua watched Mrs. Mai make her dress. She thought sewing was a useful hobby. She decided to learn how to sew. Hua bought some material. She learned how to use a sewing machine, and she made a cushion for her armchair. It was blue and white. Next, Hua made a skirt. It was green with white flowers on it. It looked very pretty. Hua tried it on, but it didn't fit. It was too big. Hua's neighbor helped her, and then it fitted very well. Now Hua has a useful new hobby: she wears the things she makes. Hua watched Mrs. Mai make her dress. She thought sewing was a useful hobby. She decided to learn how to sew. Huang bought some material. She learned how to use a sewing machine, and she made a cushion for her armchair. It was blue and white. Next, Huang made a skirt. It was green with white flowers on it. It looked very pretty. Huang tried it on, but it didn't fit. It was too big. Huang's neighbor helped her, and then it fitted very well. Hua has a useful new hobby. She wears the things she makes.